Um, I've been using these the same amps for uh, uh, God since 1996, I guess. I, I met Steve Fryett. Uh, his company was formerly called VHT, uh, which we we referred to as as very huge tits, but I think it was actually Valve Harmonic Technology. Um, but I thought Very Huge Tits was a better name for the company, and it would have been huge if he had taken my advice. Uh, but he lost his name uh, to these uh, Chinese guys that gave him invested money in him, and he, so he ended up putting his name on the amps. And I used the Ultra Lead, which is a 100 watt head um, uh, with six band graphic EQ, um, which I utilize for feedback things mostly, because it's, it's just awesome. You can pick different frequencies and boost or cut, etc. cetera. Uh, and, the, and it's tuned for guitar, you know, as opposed to, you know, uh, like a vocal EQ or whatever. And it's it's great. It's a great EQ. Uh, it's three channels. Um, I use the clean channel on just a couple of tunes. It's very percussive clean channel, so it's not good for soft stuff, like anything jazzy. I don't, I, it's, it's not made for anything like that at all. I couldn't play jazz through it. I mean, I could, it just doesn't, have the warmth because as I say it's very percussive but I use it for the song enemies in the verse along with an octave pedal um, I use the MXR bass octave pedal uh, live though I just started using these these new Digitech uh, whammies that they have at home I haven't it's larger than the old ones so I haven't been able to incorporate it on my board yet but it's a different uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, algorithm or whatever so it's all in tune now you can use it to sing to I used to use the whammy just for solos and stuff like that that didn't tuning wasn't an issue but uh, in the studio for that song enemies I used the, the, the you know the whammy pedal uh, but the MXR is you know just this big and it, the bass octave pedal and it sounds great so um, and then uh, the, I use the rhythm channel, the, the, the gold channel, gold light channel for um, all my rhythm stuff. And um, I have the gain on high gain and I vary the, the gain knob uh, according to the room. You know, sometimes I'll back the gain off a little bit. Um, and it depends if I'm using my speaker cabinets at home, I have two different speaker cabs. Um, and uh, I can back the gain off a fair amount. Like but over here, I'm using in Europe using a little more saturated sounds. So the gain's pretty high on the rhythm channel. The other things I have on the board are uh, Bob turned me on to this uh, even tied time factor, which is a MIDI programmable um, uh, you know d delay that has anything to do, to do with time, like chorus, flange, um, delays, and slapbacks and stuff like that. Uh, and it's got some amp modeling things in it for like a vintage, you know, it's tape delay and stuff like that. Um, I'm putting it in front of the amp, and one thing I'm considering um, doing is is putting it in the loop. Uh, it would require two more long cables, you know, from the board to the head. But uh, but I'm kind of thinking that it might function a, a, a little. I mean, it's some nights it's messy and and it's hard if the room the sounds not great. It's hard to to. Uh, get the clarity and I'm yeah, so I'm, that's something when I get home from this tour I think I'm gonna talk to Bob about um, and uh, but but for now I'm, I'm putting it in front of everything